Oh my God. Okay. I don't ever want to do that to myself again. That smells like how I imagine earwax smelling to be candid. I know what Macintosh apples smell like fresh off the tree. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is it in a fragrance. I'm Alan with Earth Glow Inc. And in today's video, we are going to be doing part three of our fragrance oil haul. And these fragrances are all candidates for my rustic collection that I will be premiering in 2023. So if you haven't seen the first and second part of this haul, I would recommend checking those out uh, before you watch this video. But let's get right into it. We have two companies today, uh, Aztec Candle and Soap Supplies, as well as Candle Science that we're gonna be reviewing. And I also thought that I would go ahead and bring up some coffee beans uh, to smell in between uh, checking out the fragrance samples. Let's take a look at Strawberry Shortcake from Candle Science. Now, I've seen a lot of people just raving about this fragrance um, and it never really appealed to me, but I thought I'd give it a try because for this collection, I'm specifically looking for things that evoke nostalgia and memories and simplicity. Um, so I think Strawberry Shortcake could technically kind of fit that category, um, but let's see what it does. This reminds me so much of something that is so hard to pinpoint. Okay, when I was little, uh, I used to collect My Little Ponies, and this reminds me so much. If those toys could have a fragrance, it would be, it would be this. Um, to me, it's fun, it's playful, it's cute, it's immature, and uh, I wouldn't use it in my candle line. Now, I can see this being a very popular seller, uh, but it's just not, it doesn't do it for me personally. Strawberry Shortcake um, by Candle Science. The chopping block is where I put all the fragrances that I won't considering any further for the Rustic Collection, and uh, this platter over here is where I'm putting all my yeses. And just because I like a particular fragrance uh, does not mean that I'll necessarily make it into a candle, uh, much less sell it to my customers. All of my fragrances are part of what I call my no BS standard, which means that they have to meet a very specific criteria. Um, and I'll go over exactly what that entails uh, in a future video. Okay, next let's take a look at Tobacco and Cedar by Aztec. This is also, if I remember correctly, a very highly reviewed fragrance. I'm not sure how this is gonna be. I know some tobaccos can almost be kind of funky. Okay, let me, let me, I'm not sure what I'm getting in that. Take us a, a whiff of some coffee here first. Okay, now let me try again here. Okay, this smells almost like a lemon verbana, which is really puzzling to me how a tobacco and cedar. There's a very prominent sweet lemon note in this fragrance. And it's not off-putting to me. It's actually appealing. Um, but I wouldn't really pick up any cedar notes in this. There may be some cedar that's really muddled by the other more prominent top notes. Uh, the tobacco is, is a really clean, it's there, but it's sort of in the background as well. I'm most prominently getting like a lemon verbana element to this, and it is something that I like. Um, so I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. Tobacco, care, or tobacco Cedar by Aztec. Next up, let's take a look at Vetiver by Candle Science. Vetiver is another one that can be very polarizing, um, like tobacco fragrances. 
uh, it can have almost like a funky kind of flavoring to it where it almost is like, it can almost smell like weed maybe to some people. And depending on the fragrance manufacturer. Oh, this is interesting. This is, this would make a nice blender. Um, that's very interesting to me. Yeah, if you're looking for something that has a little bit of that funk to it, that is kind of, I mean, vetiver is a rich resonant note um, that goes deep into the base of fragrances. But this particular vetiver has more like clean notes over the top of it. And I'm picking up some citrus even in the top of this fragrance, but definitely still getting some of that kind of funky uh, vetiver element to it. I think this probably, my guess would be that this is pretty weak um, by itself without having tried it, just based on how it smells out of the bottle. But I would certainly consider this as a blender. I'm gonna put this in the maybe. Okay, next let's take a look at Himalayan Bamboo from Candle Science. This one, I don't really know what to expect. I'm thinking it's going to be probably like a beachy, almost tropical, but hopefully in a clean, sort of refreshing way and maybe even like a luxurious type way or a spa-like way. Oh, this is not at all what I expected. It's prominent out of the bottle. I'm picking up notes almost of like fresh cut grass in this fragrance. I know it's not supposed to smell like that, um, but this to me smells like you just mowed the lawn and um, you've got like some, one of those Christmas tree air fresheners. It's nicer than that. You mowed the lawn, but then you've also got a little something going on in the air too that's clean and hint of floral, hint of lemon. I'm not picking up much of a bamboo element in this fragrance at all, personally. Um, let's take a look at Cozy Cabin by Aztec. I don't know at all what I'm going to, like I have no expectations for this fragrance, but the name was so intriguing to me. So I'm looking for things for this collection that are, again, very nostalgic and reminiscent of Beauty and nature, simplicity, elements. Oh, wow, wow. Okay, I'm not a patchouli fan, um, but the patchouli in this fragrance works so well. Uh, this is a cozy cabin. I'm up north in the UP and we rented a small cabin where we're gonna be staying. And I'm bringing my cozy cabin candle to that cabin because I want that cabin to smell cozy and warm and fresh and welcoming and inviting. Cozy Cabin by Aztec. This is special. Uh, I definitely would take a second look at this fragrance and I'm gonna put this into my maybe pile. Actually, you know what? I think, I think, yeah, let's keep it there. Okay, the next fragrance that I'm gonna try out is Hansel and Gretel's House by Candle Science. Also a part of their Clean Scent collection. This fragrance smells exactly like the name. This is something that I would certainly use and it's part of their Clean Sense fragrance collection. So this would automatically pass my no BS standard. Um, but I will say, 
Yeah, if you're looking for a good gingerbread fragrance that has the cinnamon, but also the allspice, the clove, the bread, not just a straight cinnamon, but there's a lot of like vanilla. And I also get star anise in this fragrance and almost like a hint of pumpkin. Um, it's a really nice aroma, but this one definitely would be in a holiday collection. And I think it would do very well um, if the hot throw is, again, what I think it probably will be. Um, another thing that is nice about Candle Science is they also have on their website where they rate the hot throw performance in soy wax. Um, I will say that it's important to do your own testing as a candle maker um, and not just rely on what the website on Candle Science says for that. But I do think that it's nice that a lot of their fragrances are specifically formulated to work well um, in soy wax and also that they rate the performance. Um, let's see here. This one I'm going to go ahead and put into the maybe pile. Um, actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna keep it there. All right, let's take a look at this Copper Coconut BBW Type um, by Aztec Candle and Soap Supplies. Again, they're pretty spot on with the dupe. Um, I'm familiar with this fragrance from Bath & Body Works, and if you're looking for a dupe for Copper Coconut, this is it right here. I don't know how the performance will be in soy wax, um, but this is a nice tropical fragrance. It's not just a straight coconut. You get like a lot of upper notes with this, like pineapple and maybe a hint of sage and mango are the ones that I'm picking up most. There's also like a almost like a very light like gardenia element to it, but it's in the background. There's some sort of a floral that I can't quite pinpoint. Um, but this is this is okay. Um, and if you're looking for a dupe for this fragrance, this is it. Um, it's not what I'm personally looking for for my rustic collection. Okay, let's try next up, let's try uh, chocolate. Uh, let's try chocolate fudge from Candle Science. And chocolate fragrances are another one that's really difficult um, to, to find. Uh, I've been looking for a good chocolate that I can blend um, with some other notes. And uh, I haven't found any so far that I would consider um, excellent candidates for that. So let's take a look at this one. Oh my God. Okay. I don't ever want to do that to myself again. That smells like, that smells like how I imagine earwax smelling to be candid. Um, and I've never smelled earwax, but if earwax were a fragrance, I think it would be this chocolate fudge um, by Candle Science. This is a hard, hard pass for me. Um, you know what? I, I don't even want to do that to myself again. Up, let's take a look at Macintosh Apple by Candle Science. Now this fragrance I think I may have, uh, the cat may not have been entirely on all the way, um, so I may have had some spillage on this one, but not too big of a deal. I can clean up the side of the bottle. Wow. This right here, I think, is the truest Macintosh apple fragrance I have smelled since my days as a child being in the Yankee Candle store with my mom and smelling their Macintosh apples candle. This right here, I grew up in the orchard, in the apple orchard, in the blueberry patch. I know what Macintosh apples smell like fresh off the tree. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is it in a fragrance. This is Macintosh apple in liquid form. And it's strong, like it's prominent. It's, this is going to be most definitely in my rustic collection. All right, next up, let's go ahead and try tobacco by Aztec. Now we did try the tobacco and cedar by Aztec earlier. So just to compare, um, I just thought I'd get their straight tobacco as well. Um, I'm hoping this isn't like a pungent, like cigarette type aroma. 
uh, the one from Nature's Garden. It's called Pipe Tobacco and Cashmere. I made the mistake of buying a 16 ounce bottle before I tried the fragrance. And I will never be using that in a candle for my customers. Um, so let's see how this tobacco fragrance is. This is really nice. This is really nice. Um, this reminds me of, I have a candle called Honey Citrine Glow and it has tobacco in it. Um, it's not from Aztec, but it does have that fragrance note in it along with a lot of other notes. Um, but this is very reminiscent um, of that blend. Uh, it's, it's not pungent at all. It's a beautiful tobacco, actually like a fresh tobacco. Um, and it has this almost dreamy, nostalgic element to it that I find very, uh, I find it very pleasing. Tobacco by Aztec. This one is definitely gonna be in the maybe pile. Um, and this would make an excellent blender as well. If you're looking for some sort of a tobacco to blend maybe with a mahogany or a teakwood, mahogany and teakwood, or with that uh, Palo Santo and patchouli from um, Nature's, or from Flaming Candle, um, I think this would go excellently blended with those fragrances. Or with pretty much anything earthy that you have that you wanna just amplify the base and add a hint of like a sweet nostalgic element um, this would, I think, blend pretty beautifully. Next up, let's go ahead and try White Tea and Ginger by Aztec. Now, this scent, I think, is going to be pretty unique. Um, I haven't smelled... No, I did smell White Tea by Candle Science, but not too many companies seem to have White Tea fragrances that I've seen. Um, and to have that with Ginger, I think, could be really interesting. So. I don't really know what to expect from this fragrance, but I will say I'm excited to see what it does. Okay, this is a spa-like retreat in a bottle. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a retreat in a bottle. I'm at the spa, I just had a massage, I'm relaxing in the air. Just a fresh herbal air that's clean at the same time. And the ginger's there. The white tea element is there, but it's not like that glorified Tide Pod um, type of white tea. Um, like the one I smelled last uh, fragrance haul from Candle Science that I didn't like. Uh, this also has some lilac in it or some honeysuckle and lilac. This is a really intriguing and beautiful, unique aroma. Um, I'm going to be looking into this fragrance more. And this is from Aztec. This is a definite yes. Uh, next up, and the last fragrance it looks like already for this haul um, is Barnwood. And I saved the best for last. Uh, I was really, I have high hopes for Barnwood uh, because I am looking for these kind of reminiscent, nostalgic, uh, fragrances for this collection. I have such a picture in my head of being out in the autumn time at uh, what was called, was called Stover's Farms and that's where I used to pick apples when I was little and we would go in the barn afterwards and get the caramel apples and we would get pumpkins and jams and I hope that this fragrance reminds me um, of all those experiences that I had as a child doing those activities. Let's see what Barnwood does. Oh my goodness. This is a definite contender. Um, this Barnwood, it has a clean element to it as well. It's not a skanky sort of Barnwood um, fragrance. It, it has a warmth but a clean refined warmth it's very hard for me to pinpoint exactly what's in this fragrance but i am getting sandalwood cedarwood as the most prominent base notes um, out of the bottle for me um, it does smell pretty strong coming out of the bottle so i'm hoping that the performance in soy wax uh, will be 
uh, you know, a good hot throw. It can be hard to tell and really predict that. Um, but this fragrance is complex. Uh, it almost reminds me of if you took like one of those flannel type fragrances and added like some wood to it, some kind of some gusto, some bass, some more resonance to it, you might almost get this. And I think that this fragrance will sell. It could sell excellently um, in the fall and really bring a lot of nostalgia and a unique component to a fall collection. So this is definitely gonna go into my yes pile. And that's all for today's video. I hope to do another haul soon. It does take me a lot of time um, before I release a new collection to figure out the fragrance narrative um, of the collection. Um, that process generally is six to 12 months for me. I start working on new collections that far in advance um, to when I go ahead and release them. So I hope to see you all very soon in my next haul. And for now, peace, love, and light. And I hope you have a happy time candle making.